Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's and the boys from the dwarf. We are currently on the Rim World, where it is um, kind of warm outside. There's definitely a kind of atmosphere. Um, we're not alone, more or less. And as much as I'd like for the uh, boys from the dwarf to fly, to fly away far, far away from here, we can't because we don't have the spaceship ready. Um, so I guess the goal of the entire campaign is to rebuild the Starbug, maybe? To then fly away? Although I, I'm fairly certain it's going to be a different variation of the Starbug. So not at all the Starbug. Anyways, um, let's just stop dawdling and continue. In our last episode, we managed to con uh, completely build the, um, the dining hall slash communal hall. Um, and then we also got raided twice. First, we got raided by a couple of dudes wielding, um, modern-day weapons. Uh, and then we also got raided by a tribe. The Red Mule... Vas... Vexa... Baisku. Apparently. And we managed to capture Kaminio, the scout. Who has unfortunately, um, suffered a... Permanent brain damage. Um from Kat's large machine gun, which she managed to get from one of the other uh, raiding groups. So in this episode, I think what we're going to try to do is uh, research hydroponics and perhaps get a hydroponics farm up and running so that we are good and ready to deal with winter when that arrives. Whenever that arrives, that is. So I'm thinking we might need to carve out some um, space in this little uh, mountain section here. Not really a mountain, more like a large hill, I guess. Yeah, we'll have to carve out a hydroponics farm in the uh, stone here. I'm thinking maybe three hydroponics chambers, or is that too many? I have no idea. I don't really... I don't think I really played enough to um, know how the hydroponics stuff work. But, regardless. Um... So, I think... Research... Yeah. Crichton is currently working on hydroponics, which is great. And um, I'm kind of debating on whether or not we should... Oh. Hmm. His brain efficiency has 20%. Despite the fact that he is completely healed up. Uh... I... Don't know if we really want to keep Camino. I don't really want to kill him either. So I'm thinking we, should, thinking we should just maybe chat him up a little bit, see what his deal is, see what he's about, and then maybe let him go afterwards. Because uh, we can't really... We don't really have a use for him if we do decide to recruit him. And I'd rather not have the boys from the dwarf go around executing people. That's not really their style. So I'm thinking we just have a friendly chat with him, get as uh, cozy with him as we can, and then just send him on his way. Um, although, his consciousness is pretty terrible, <laughs> so, so unfortunately he's not able to move, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> oh man, I feel bad for him. Maybe we should've just let him die. Should we euthanize him? That's the same as executing him, isn't it? Oh, that, that sounds terrible. Anyways, um, so we managed to tame the female turkey who is currently unable to lay eggs because they haven't been fertilized, which doesn't make a lot of sense because all birds, I believe, um, lay eggs regardless of whether or not they are fertilized. I actually looked this up. I was curious about it the other day and then I just looked it up and apparently like all birds do this and a lot of reptiles too as well. Back when I had uh, a couple of leopard geckos, um, one male, one female, the female actually uh, um, laid a couple of eggs, and I kind of freaked out because like, oh shit, what if these eggs are fertilized? Like, I can't deal with baby uh, e even more leopard geckos. That's that's crazy talk. But thankfully, it was unfertilized. I think the male couldn't really get with a female. I don't know what it was, but anyways. So have we talked to Camino at all, Lister? I guess Lister is kind of busy um, building shit up. Lottie Galvin. Um, 
Lister, are you sure this is your sister? I'm fairly certain you don't have a sister named Lottie Galvin, Lister. Not even like a stepsister. Lumi, what are you doing there in the dark all by yourself? And why does Cat like you a lot more than you like him? And uh, Lumi's rival is apparently List or uh, Rimmer, which <laughs> makes a lot of sense. He does tend to rub people the wrong way. He's actually getting along well with Crichton, even though Crichton doesn't actually like him that much. Actually, this is quite accurate. Uh, he should actually not like the cat, but eh, whatever, it's fine. And uh, of course, Lister is getting along well with everyone, which is fantastic. Nice. Good to see that you've actually made a friend in Lister there, Lumi. It's kind of getting worried that maybe you might be all alone in this world. But no. Um. So apparently he's awake, I guess? I don't see the Zeds, so I think he's awake. But it seems that he's not actually capable of anything. I think he's <laughs> permanently brain damaged. I mean, it's not really anything to laugh at, but... At the same time, it's like... Oh, that is sad. Guys, we have a dining room. Why do you insist on eating your food inside the freezer? What the hell, guys? I build you this shit, and then you just opt to not use it at all. You ate without a table. Rimmer? Whose fault is that? Whose fault is it that you ate without a table? I built you a nice table over here. Is it too far? Maybe we actually need to turn this into a dining area. A new area has been revealed? What? Where? Is this a new area? Are you kidding me? That's not a new area at all. Also, let's build some more graves. I think we might need to um, bury some more dead bodies. Let's build some more down here. Just continue down the line. And we're going to have a lot of uh, filled up graves for our... Um, for future raids and shit. So Lister, once you're done constructing that, can you have a chat with Camino? See if, he, see if he's, in fact, capable of responding. Because if he's permanently brain damaged, I don't know if there's really a way for us to um, release him, even if we wanted to. Because, uh, oof. Consciousness very poor. Maybe we can get him, like, a brain transplant? Is that even possible? I think there's some bionics that... Um, that uh, where we can enable, like, AI or something. Maybe turn him into an android. Is that, is that possible? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> feel really bad about Camino, but he did attack us, so maybe it's not our fault. Yeah, you know what, Camino? You son of a bitch. I don't feel bad about you at all, jackass. You're the one that attacked us. Oh, well. Maybe we should also get a... Oh, wait. This needs 80 cloth. Never mind. Uh, maybe we should get a chest table instead. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Let's get a chest table. Let's also get a couple of stools built for the chest table. I don't know which orientation the chest table requires, but I'm fairly certain it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, who's going to be the one to build the chest table? Crichton, is it you? No, Lister, it's got to be you, right? Yeah, it's Lister. Fantastic. All right, good job, buddy. So how close are we to researching hydroponics? Not that far. I think we can actually get this done within the next few uh, minutes, maybe. And then we'll start carving our way in. I'm thinking we should probably get that process started now, rather than later. So let's get, um, do we want, I think I kind of want like a corridor of two rather than the one. Then again, let's maybe just figure out what we should do in terms of the uh, hydroponics farm first, before we do anything else. I'm thinking we do a 9x9 nine nine type deal for our hydroponics farms. Again, I'm not quite sure what the uh, specifics are for hydroponics farms, so... This is going to be a bit of a learning experience for me. So I'm thinking we do that. Get another one set up over here. And then have them connect that way. And then get another one set up over here. And then we'll have one... Go maybe like this? Is that a good idea? Maybe, but uh, I guess I, I'm a little bothered by the fact that it's not really centered. So let's just go that way and then we'll have a psychic soothe is ending. That's unfortunate, but whatever, that can't be helped. And if we go that way, that's perfect. And then we'll build a nine by nine chamber there and a nine by nine chamber there. 
and then we'll have some like three hydroponics farms up and ready to go. Is that a good idea? Possibly, maybe, maybe not. And then if we can have like a nine by nine here, we can't. Hmm. Well, that's not acceptable. Should we move this down a little bit? So we can um, maximize the space usage a little bit more? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Let's do that instead. There we go. What can I say? I'm a little OCD about these things. And then we'll build one over here. Have a chamber here. Chamber here. And boom. And then we'll have... Yeah, I think that's doable. I think that should be fine. And then if we need to um, reinforce certain areas, we'll do that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And let's also, yeah, let's carve that out. Carve this out. And then make this look all nice and pretty. Not that it really needs to, but um, this way at least then uh, Rimmer will have the option of uh, painting these either ocean gray or military, military gray, right? It's up to him. It's his discretion. No one else cares except for uh, Rimmer. I think Camino is brain dead. I think at this point we just... Can we try letting him go? What if we release him? I don't think we can actually chat with him. I think we should just try to release him. I don't really feel like executing him. Maybe we should actually harvest an organ from him. But that's not really their style though, is it? Lumi? Do you want to maybe try your hand at um, doctoring? And then have you um, harvest an organ from Camino? Let's do that. I don't want the other guys to uh, to get involved with... Um, with uh, whatchamacallit. With... Uh, I don't want them to have a hand in Camino's demise. So let's just have Lumi do it instead. And we're going to harvest Camino's heart. Is this a good idea? Let's give it a try. Let's let's harvest uh, Camino's heart. Lumi? Can you please harvest... Whoa, what is this? Mega Sloth Wool Tribal Wear. Ah, right. It's the um, dead dude's uh, tribal wear. Fair enough. I suppose we could sell it. Makes or makes her cash. Fantastic. I don't know why the music keeps cutting out like from time to time. It's a little strange. Maybe it's going the way of uh, Divinity Original Sin. Where the music just cuts out during... um. Nice. Epic fights. Alright, so we got hydroponics up and running. Or at least we don't have it up and running, but we at least have it researched. I'm thinking maybe we should go with Microelectronics Basics. So that we can, if we wanted to, research gun turrets or go with geothermal power. Geothermal power. So I think that's the next one to uh, research. Although I do like auto doors. Let's actually do auto doors instead. And then um, when we have auto doors ready, we'll go with microelectronics basics or whatever. And then we can, um, we can get uh, gun turrets and all the other shit. Okay, can, can we... Lumi? Are you... Okay, so after you have your little lunch, can you perhaps... There we go. Removing body part. Okay. I want everyone to just close your ears. Unless... I guess Camino's um, brain dead, so maybe he can't scream. Oh, God. This is happening. Oh, that noise. Oh! <laughs> Anesthetic. Oh, shit. <laughs> Camino, I feel less bad because you did in fact participate in an, actively participate in a raid to try to uh, kill us. So whatever, man. This is all on you, buddy. This is all on you. Let this be a lesson to the Red Mule Vas Vexabaisku. Um, Lumi, just don't tell anyone in the uh, colony here that you have in fact harvested an organ from Camino. Uh, make sure they don't eat it either, though. Uh, so we might need to preserve it in some place that's not the fridge, perhaps? Oh. You failed in a minor way? What the hell, Lumi? It's just a routine, uh... Heart harvesting operation. Come on! Good grief. Can you try again? Can you please prioritize operating on him? Oh, I guess we need, uh, materials. As in, we need heal root, maybe? This heal root is taking a really long time to grow. Then again, we don't really have um, a lot of uh, rich soil around. 
for us to be able to plant these uh, heat roots in better positions, right? Maybe that's why. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Okay, Lumi, what are you doing? You just organizing the storage stuff? Great. Okay, Lister has gotten started with the mining operation. Fantastic. And this should, I'm hoping, um, make it a little easier for us to survive the winter whenever that arrives. Which, according to Ned Stark, again, is just constantly right around the corner. Crichton is uh, making food and also researching. Fantastic. Yeah, nice. Lumi, got anything else to do in the meantime? No? What about you, Rimmer? Maybe we should actually have Rimmer plant some more stuff. That might not be a bad idea, because I think right now, Rimmer is kind of the only guy, or he only really has um, rough marble. Oh, I see. Okay, fine. Maybe then we should plant a growing zone down here, maybe? Yeah, get a 9x9. Nine nine. Uh, what should we grow here? I'm thinking we actually grow some corn, because they know corn lasts a while. And let's also get like a strawberry field going here. Just to make people a little happier, right? Or maybe we should actually go with cotton. Fall has begun, son of a bitch. Oh no. It's not good. Okay, let's get some cotton going so that we, in case we need to, um, we can craft some uh, clothing out of it. So that way we don't have to rely on leather constantly. What is this? Excellent timber wolfskin tribal wear. That is apparently dead man's apparel. That's unfortunate. Cat, have you managed to tame the male turkey yet? We kind of need the uh, turkeys to get it on so that we can breed more turkeys and then get like a turkey farm going on. So Cat, if you could prioritize uh, taming the male turkey, that'd be fantastic. Uh, maybe you can actually start singing in gobble gobble gobbles or something, I don't know, to, to tame the turkey. Where is he going with that simple meal? Is Cat is meditating? No. What are you doing, Cat? Next, you're gonna tell me that you want to wear sandals. And we all know that you don't want to wear sandals. You'd rather be dead than be um, wearing sandals, right? What's this turkey doing going into Crichton's room? Somehow the turkey has learned the ability to, uh, to um, open doors. I mean, it is technically related to dinosaurs, right? So, you know, could just be a clever girl. I don't know. Cat? Oh, you're going to tame the turkey. Fantastic. How has, how difficult is it to tame this turkey? Holy shit, it's like nearly impossible. You fed it some rice? Talk to it some more? Come on. You failed! 9.9% .9 chance? Is this turkey getting it on with the uh, male turkey? Turkey, I want you to... Bend and spread for the male turkey, and um, get some eggs ready so that we can get some uh, future turkey farming, perhaps. Remember, you doing okay uh, sowing corn? Fantastic. Do we need more wood? I think we might need to get more wood. Actually, that's all the wood that we have. They're all in here. Okay, fine. And Lister is only the only one that's currently mining, which is okay as well. Crichton? is researching so let's leave him to research actually um Crichton I want you to drop the pickaxe and Lister I want you to pick up the pickaxe and you can leave the pistol for now if we um have to fend off a raid then we'll have you pick up the pistol again but for now I think the uh, pickaxe might be more useful for you there you go look at him look at him actually working a lot faster at that mining shit now fantastic good job buddy cat He's um, currently cutting down trees. Fantastic. Okay. I think this should be enough food if everything goes according to plan. But um, I believe with hydroponic stuff, it's not production. Maybe we should actually get a, cool, a tool construction bench going on. Might not be a bad idea. Hydroponic space and that's what it is. 100 steel and one component. Can we fill up the entire room? What about the sun lamp? Oh, right. It actually has a range. Okay. As far as I'm aware, it seems like it goes a little beyond the 9x9 that I've been 
planning for these uh, places. Which, um, actually, you know what? I think 9x9 is like a perfect size. That way there's uh, just enough overlap for everything. And Auto Doors has been completed. Fantastic. Let's next go with Micro ba uh, Electronics Basics. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Or should we go with electric smelting so that we can have some electric cremation go Electric? Electric? Or uh, no, electric cremation going on. No, no, no. Let's go with microelectronics basics. There we go. And then once we have that, we will possibly... Um, I'm not quite sure what we should focus on next after that. Either the geothermal so that we have enough power to um, power the... Um... The, the, the ch turrets, or should we just go for the turrets? I think we should just go for the turrets. And then we'll set up a system of switches and pulleys and shit to turn the uh, switches off, or turn the um, the things off if we need to conserve power, if that makes any sense at all. Which I'm sure it doesn't, but it's fine. Great, so we've got the chessboard online. Has this been used by anyone? Is there a way to tell? I don't think so. I don't think there's any way to tell whether or not people have been playing on this. Should we get some traps going? I think considering how freaking wide and open the space is, maybe we shouldn't go for traps just yet. Not until we can close some of these places off and try to funnel the, um, the raiders in through various locations. I have no idea. I have no idea. But once we have the turkeys all tamed, we should put them, uh, we should probably put them in like a fenced area. And uh, make sure that they're fully stocked with kibble. Uh, you see, normally, the way I would play is I would butcher the uh, raiders' corpses and turn the hum um, human meat into kibble. Um, has it, no one been harvested? Oh, right, because we don't have the heal root stuff. I see, okay. Fine, that's okay. I guess we'll just wait until we have heal root, but I get I mean, the issue with that is we're currently wasting resources on Camino. Sounds terrible to say that we're wasting resources on a fellow human being, but that's essentially what it is. So I'm thinking maybe we should just harvest the wild heal root. Let's... Okay, there's a fair bit of wild heal root around. Not all of them are fully grown yet, though. So we should only try to harvest the fully grown ones if we can. Harvest that one. Harvest that as well. Actually, never mind. There's a fair bit to harvest here. Nice. That one's not fully grown. We'll just wait until it's completely ready. And that one is also ready to heal or ready to harvest. Fantastic. Okay, Lumi. Don't fail this, okay? This is what we need to... There we go. Lumi's just immediately... Wait, no. I thought Lumi was going to um, operate on Camino right away, but no. Operating on Camino is l wait, no, no, no. Yeah, that's good. Okay, operate on Camino so that we don't waste any more resources on him. And once we get the operation started, I'm going to shut the door, lock it so that no one can enter and hear the uh, twisted screams and um, squelching of blood and uh, various organs as Lumi harvests Camino's heart. Aztec style, um, except we're using anesthetics and um, non-obsidian weapons, like actual scalpels and shit, so not at all Aztec style, which I don't know, maybe Aztecs used um, just like their hands to just barrel through the uh, person's chest and just pull out the heart. Possibly? Maybe? I have no idea. I've never been an Aztec, so what can I say? Come on, we can do it. Oh, Kaminyu has died during surgery. Okay. Faction relation negative five. Wait. But I thought these guys hated us anyways. Yeah, they do. They hate us anyways, so... Uh, <laughs> not much we can really do about that. Did they always hate us? I knew the uh, red grasshoppers and the nukemen hated us because they're pirates. I think the red mule dudes also hated us to begin with. We should try to get in good with the... Non-technologist nation of Reusia. What the fuck? And the Western Shonothina. Oh, Lumi. Are you okay? 
Summon organ harvested. Is everyone aware or privy to the... Okay. Lumi, why did you have to tell everyone over the um, broadcast system that you harvested his heart? Come on, Lumi. I mean, thank you for, you know, doing your part in harvesting Camino's heart and thus freeing up some uh, valuable space and resources for us. But why did you have to tell everyone that we successfully harvested the organ? Oh, Rimmer. Rimmer just took one glance at the um, heart that's been like just splayed right next to the bed and he just fucking booked it. Now he's going to vomit into the uh, marsh or something. Nope. He's going to go mining. Apparently that's how he deals with- Aw, oh, shit. I think we might need to kill the um, arctic wolf. It just killed an ibex doe. Did it kill the ibex ram? Fuck me. This wolf is going around killing everything. Unbelievable. Okay, you know what? We either uh, tamed the wolf. 1.8% chance. Yeah, if Cat actually manages to fail um, taming the wolf and the wolf turns on Cat, it's fine, because he's got a large machine gun and he'll just go to town on the wolf. Besides, he's a cat. The wolf is, you know, related to dogs. They're natural enemies. And I'm sure Cat will just fucking go to town on the wolf if, um, if it turns on him. Right, Cat? You gonna be okay taming that wolf? I think he's gonna be okay. He's a big boy. Oh, there's the Ibex Ram. Except we lost the uh, female. The Ibex Doe, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, it's the only Ibex thingamajig in the entire uh, map now. Great. Cat, how you doing, man? How you doing? 4.5% chance to tame it. Hmm. Not bad, but not great either. Have you managed to tame the um, turkey yet? No. Come on, cat. Can't be that hard to tame a turkey, right? Good grief, man. I think we got a lot of food, though. If winter came now, would we be able to survive it? Honestly, I have no idea. I don't know how long winter's gonna last in this uh, particular area or part of the world. So, I don't know. Maybe we're gonna be okay, maybe not. But I'm kind of leaning towards maybe us being more uh, conservative with this. And Lumi has apparently gotten food poisoning. That's why you don't put the simple meals right next to raw meat, guys. I know it's frozen, but you should still not be um, rubbing your food all over the uh, the raw meat. Good grief. Have your parents not taught you anything? Jeez Louise. Alright, guys. Um, we are halfway through... Well, not quite. I was about to say that we're about halfway through to researching microelectronics basics. But nope. Not even close. I don't wonder what all these things do. I know what the gun turrets do, and I know the uh, what the geothermal power does, obviously. But what about the fire foam? How does this work? How does tube television? I'm assuming tube television just gives people joy and shit. What about the moisture pump? If we can make the moisture pump, does that mean we can drain some of these swamps? Because that would actually give us uh, give a, gave us that would actually give us a lot more real estate to work with, which is fantastic. Okay. I'm thinking we should probably start maybe taming the hairs. Might be a good idea. No? Possibly? Why is it that... Oh wait, did a hair manage to... What the fuck? <laughs> I guess a hair managed to self-tame? It's a little bizarre, but alright, fair enough. Um, let's see if we can actually tame the hairs. They may actually attack upon a failed taming attempt. Good grief. A hair has become self-tame. Fantastic. Hair number one. Yeah, let's actually see if we can uh, domesticate a lot of these animals so that we can get like an animal farm going. Because at least that way. And Lumi has gotten food poisoning ag again. Lumi, stop rubbing your food all over the raw meat. Good grief, girl. Holy shit, what a savage. My god. Let's make sure that um, everyone is... People who are currently mining out the... Um, the the potential... Uh, the geothermal... No, not the geothermal, but the hydroponics areas aren't freaking out. Because uh, 
I find that whenever I send people to go mining into the um, into the uh, mountains and shit, they tend to go berserk and crap. But have you managed to t uh, tame any more uh, rabbits or no? Let's just hope the rabbits don't go crazy on uh, cat. Although they might, I don't know, knowing his luck. Eh, we'll see. All right, so things are um progressing in some direction or another. At least we have hydroponics researched and we also have auto doors. Oh right, auto doors. Let's actually get steel auto doors built and let's start replacing some of the auto doors or the regular doors that we have now and then replace them, yeah, with the steel doors. Are we going to be wasting too many comp components this way? I don't think we need to get auto doors for everything, but we'll at least get auto doors for like the uh, the freezer and shit, or the most um, well-traveled uh, locations, so that we we're speeding up people's uh, progress or whatever. If that makes any sense, Lister, are you? Nope, Lister's just going to eat food. Kind of hoping that he might uh, get started on the auto door construction here. R uh, Lumi, really? Is Lumi the one to? She's so slow. She's so slow because of her um, shattered tibia, which apparently just refuses to heal. Um, okay. <laughs> Not much I can really do about that. Because she is, in fact, a prostophobe, so we can't really give her a peg leg either, which would actually speed her up a little bit, but um, because she's so paranoid about or fixated on her paranoia or her fear of... Uh, prosthetics that she refuses to um or I, I don't think she'll be very happy if we decide to fit her with a prosthetic great so that one's done let's deconstruct this one and also get another steel auto door going there Lumi, are you just putting the rice in okay fine great all right well let's leave this off here and continue this tomorrow um whereupon hopefully we will get some of the hydroponics farms online i'm just gonna do a quick check to make sure that we have enough coverage. Yeah, actually 9x9 nine nine I think is well, it's not perfect because there's a little bit of wasted space here. Like we get like probably fit in some more hydroponics bar. Actually 9x9, nine nine, it might not be perfect. Um, no actually it is perfect. Yeah, if we do 9x9 nine nine, it is perfect. Thankfully the sun lamps don't actually need components or anything, so that's good. Yeah, if we get 9x9... Nine nine, yeah, 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 sorry. There's a little bit of wasted space on the sides and the... and whatnot, but, um... Eh, whatever. I, I'm willing to overlook that. Alright, so let's leave it off here and continue this tomorrow. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!